Oh, sweet, I'm going to look on the ASA. One hour, bro. What do you think, dude? That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. I do have an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like another thing. It's rotated. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear baby Jesus, please guide the head engineers at Zebco to go to www.basspro.com and in the search bar type Proficiency Sniper Spin Cast, for it is here that they will gain the inspiration they need to elevate the Zebco bullet to the next level. Amen. Today I have a very special reel that was brought to my attention by a supporter of the channel. I'm not going to say any names over the internet, you know who you are, and I thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. I had no idea that proficiency and the sniper spin cast was even a thing. What I'm holding here is the beautiful Brad Pitt looking love child of a Zepco bullet and we'll say a Pro Max Abu Garcia baitcaster. So basically these two had a baby and what came out was the Proficiency Sniper. So you have the gearbox and handle system and star drag of a baitcaster and then the general push button, front cover assembly and body of a spin cast. This is a true hybrid and a very exciting innovation for the fishing market. Now there are a ton of fishing reels on the market. This may not be the first hybrid spin cast ever, but it's certainly the first hybrid spin cast that I've ever seen. Add to that, I've never heard of the Proficiency brand. Whoever they are, they've come out of the gate guns ablazing. Now I just got this reel, so we'll have to see if it holds up to the rigors of many fishing trips to come. However, a lot can be said and learned about a reel by breaking it down and seeing how it was built and the materials used. We'll do just that in this video, and as always, thanks for stopping by, and let's just get right into it. As far as specs go, the Sniper is the best I've seen so far when compared to other spin cast reels. Two of the best spin cast reels on the market right now are the Zebco Bullet and the Omega Pro. The Proficiency Sniper has higher specs in all categories categories aside from max drag. It has more bearings, a higher gear ratio, and more retrieve. And above all else, it is actually lighter. It really is bringing over that baitcaster performance over the spin cast market, which tends to be light on critical specs. The sniper body, gearbox, back cover, and push button are all made of a high quality plastic. The front cover assembly is a beautifully crafted aluminum with very nice color contrasting. It really is a beautiful reel, especially in the spin cast market that tends to be more on the big and clunky side of the house. Due to the plastic, this reel actually weighs less than the Zebco Bolt MG and even the Omega Pro. But the biggest thing that stands out in terms of body construction is the fact that this is a hybrid reel. One can't help but notice that the Sniper is a spin cast reel with a bait cast handle star drag wheel, and a beautiful gearbox. This brings over the excellent ergonomics of baitcast reels to a spin cast platform. Also notice how compact the reel is compared to the Zebco Bullet. And not only is it a tight package, it's a very efficient design. Now the spool design material doesn't seem as sharp as those found on the Zebco Bullets. The Zebco Bullet uh, spool is quite nice. All right, I just removed all the line in post-production because I want to put different line on this reel. And I noticed that the spool doesn't oscillate up and down. So there's no crosswind block or gear in this reel. So that is actually something the Zebcos have over the, uh, the Sniper, is that you can see that the spool on the Zebco will oscillate up and down, and that will allow for better uh, lay of the line about the spool. So I'm very curious, uh, when I actually get this thing out in the field, how the line is gonna wrap around that spool. All right, let's move on. Now the cool thing about the Sniper is you have three color options. That's black, silver, and white. All right, let's move on to drag system. The sniper drag system appears to be excellent in terms of build quality and design. The star drag wheel is super easy to manipulate. The onset of drag is very smooth and consistent. It's not hypersensitive like that of my Zepcos. And the best part of the drag system are the carbon fiber washers. These carbon washers are very similar to the HT100 drag washers used in pen reels. Carbon fiber is very durable and should last a long time, so A plus there. Most other spin cast reels are just using large, goofy looking Teflon washers. 
All right, let's talk about bearing counts. The Sniper spin cast has an eye-watering 12 plus one bearings that blows virtually any other spin cast out of the water and more than what is contained in my high-end spinning reels. Now, bait cast reels tend to be high in the bearing counts, so maybe that's just more of that bait cast lineage manifesting itself over on the spin cast side. The bearings appear to be good quality. Some are shielded and some are open. I must say that this reel is pretty dang smooth. All right, let's talk gear ratios. First, I'd like to make a comment about the gears in this reel. Um, they use partly brass, which look very nice, and then they use kind of a, what I suspect is a hardened aluminum main gear, which is kind of reminiscent to what is found in the Bullet MG. All right, the gear ratio is phenomenal for a spin cast reel. This little spin cast has a higher gear ratio than my $260 Pin Slammer 4. Let's put that further in context. Zebco's fastest reel that they make is 5.1 to 1. That's the bullet, fast as a bullet, right? Well, the Sniper is 6.5 to 1. This is a blazing fast speed for a spin cast reel. It may be the fastest spin cast ever. The retrieval rate is an impressive 31 inches as well. The Bullet MG is 29.6. At the end of the day, it's much easier to slow down your retrieve than to try and compensate by speeding up your cranks to get the desired lure presentation. So gear ratio is something to consider. It's not all being all ending specification, but in terms of bass fishing and having a greater range of uh, options in terms of your speeds on your retrieves, uh, in my opinion, it's better to have a slightly higher gear ratio so you can slow down your retrieve or you just reel in normally and it, and it goes fast. So awesome gear ratio. Right now, you can go to BassPro.com and purchase the Sniper Spin Cast for about $99.99. That's much cheaper than the Bolt MG, which comes in at around $139.99. In my humble opinion, the Sniper is a better value based off of specs, looks, and build quality. In the end, however, only time out on the water will tell which reel is actually better. In any event, if I were Zebco, I would be taking some serious notes and would immediately start working on the next generation bullet. As always, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you get out and go fish. We'll see you later. Bye.